Hello, today we're going to look at this absolutely beautiful oscilloscope that I got back in 2019 at a car boot sale for £10. I think it might be French, it is very high quality and it's absolutely beautiful, but ever since I've owned it, it hasn't worked. In fact, it's blown fuses. So we're going to try and change the caps to start with. Uh, the capacitors inside there are absolutely beautiful, so I decided to build, put no ones inside of the old ones after gutting them. Using a bit of hot glue, I know you're like, oh, but what if it gets too hot? It doesn't get too hot. It's actually worked and it's been on for a week since this so I'd chill your beans about that anyway after that we do it a bit of a clean here and there, disclaimer do not use this video as a training video to do it yourself, it is very dangerous and you could die and I'm an absolute idiot that is likely doing it completely wrong, anyway we're going to clean the valves and pop them back on with any luck these will still work but we'll look at these if it isn't working after recapping it all because we're going to recap everything but anyway first things first we're going to take these absolute absolutely beautiful red electrolytic capacitors off. They've actually got these cardboard sleeves, so we pop the old capacitors out of there. By the way, sorry for the nails. I was doing some uh, gardening before and I repotted it and I couldn't get the mud out of my nails, so you got to deal with it. Anyway, we put some new capacitors inside these uh, cardboard covers, glue it back on, and it seems to look quite nice. It seems to do the job, so let's carry on doing that. So we're going to remove the old ones, put some new ones in, pop it back in, looking lovely. Be very very careful, do not use this as a training video yet again because I don't want you to die by just watching me being a complete idiot. Anyway, we're going to use these ones, these are 8 microfarad, I couldn't find any so I used 10 microfarad, it's going to have to do, I'm sure it's fine, everything's okay. Anyway, we're going to carry on, we're going to keep on soldiering like it's snow tomorrow. Oh yeah, lovely job, mate. You notice I used some metal tweezers in this, in fact I felt a bit dodgy using those metal tweezers soldering it in, but hey, what are you going to do? I kept on making sure it was off. For some reason in the back of my head, I kept on thinking I had plugged it in accidentally, but don't be silly. Anyway, uh, I removed the front of it to get the actual CRT out, because I actually, when I was going to first fix this a few years ago, bought a brand new CRT for it. Even if this one works, let's swap it anyway, put the old one back in the box, and just shove it over there. Anyway, we're going to clean it with a bit of Mr. Sheen. You're going to be like, why Mr. Sheen? That's a hot idea. It's the worst stuff in the world. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Sheen is the best person in the world for when you need to polish things. Anyway, let's get this CRT out of the box. This is a beautiful old stock CRT. It's not a burrito, so don't get hungry with this. It's sadly, yeah, it's not edible. Well, you can try and eat it, but it might hurt. Anyway, let's uh, get the old CRT out of there. We're going to put that back in the box. We'll test that later. We'll worry about it because I really just want to put this nice new shiny one in, and if it all goes tits up, we can put the other one back in and maybe it might work again. Anyway, let's turn it on and see if there's any luck. All of the valves seem to warm up. It's all working. Well, it looks like it's working anyway. And oh my god! No, oh, it just needed to be recapped! Oh, look at that. How jammy am I? I really haven't looked at the actual circuitry of this. I just went in, recapped it, and it's not blowing fuses anymore, and it's working. So let's see if it actually shows anything remotely looking calibrated in any shape or form. We're going to get this random piece of test equipment and we're going to pull it in and see if it makes some nice waves. Then, lo and behold, it does. It might not be fully calibrated, but it doesn't matter. It's just there to look pretty. It hasn't got a X-axis modifier. It's only Y-axis, so you're only going to get fancy waveforms. You're not going to be able to do oscilloscope music on this. This is just a really beautiful 1950s, 1960s French oscillograph. OC503 by CRC, apparently. It's very very beautiful. Oh yeah, by the way, in that shot I have accidentally got it scrubbed across the side, so yeah, there is a little bit of a baffle on the side, but you'll deal with it. Anyway, I decided, why don't we put this into the Mega Drone as a bit of a visual aid for people to see when they come. We're going to actually, after this, keep the box off, but the problem with that is, is it might electrocute people, so what are we going to do uh, to stop it um, possibly uh, shocking people and uh, yeah, people will stop coming to the the museum if they keep on getting electric shots and uh, ambulances outside the front so maybe just maybe we should think about how to display this in a safe manner because it does look beautiful doesn't it it's a really nice oscilloscope I know let's get a clear case and pop that on top I've put some um, uh, some cooling holes in on the top uh, to try and keep it cool but I might need to add some more but as you can see oh yeah baby 
What a lovely afternoon's work. After all of the capacitors turned up, it took a couple of hours. Now it's working. Lovely jubbly.